Did you like it though? Did you double time? Football's here, NFL shield, excitement builds as they take the field. Call your friends, it's that time again. 20 yard line, first down and 10. Watching the game while we check out the stats. Head to head battle, so we talking trash. Getting my money, but it's more than that. It's a principle, all about whooping that ass. Fantasy football's the greatest. Everyone loves it, it must be contagious. Look forward to Sunday to take a vacation and watch every game. It's a new generation. Crowds on their feet and they love it. Shock them formation, he's faking and running it. Heartbeats are beating and banging on drums. People are screaming at the top of their lungs. The best game on the earth. Winning is crucial because losing it hurts. Be a good sport, we all learn it since birth. But nothing else matters, so coming in first. Football's back. Football's back. Football's back. Fantasy What's good, YouTube? It's that Fantasy Network, and we back with another Triple FL special. And as usual, let's get straight to it. The first matchup we had was the Fantasy Football Godfather versus the Walking By Week. And you already know, easy win for me. Moving on. Next matchup we had Dynamo FC versus the Unfinished business and of course Craig takes another L 101 to 64 it turned into blowout Blow of the week. week man barely putting up any points man we just want to put him out of his misery Wayne was led with Jonathan Taylor giving him 24, Tannehill giving him 21, and Ayuk giving him 13. Next matchup, we had the Mad King versus Big Numbers, and whoa, Prentice takes another L? How many is this in a row, Prentice? After going 6 and 0, oh, Prentice has lost the last four games. Wow, that's crazy. Kendrick gets the win 138 to 132. And Kendrick was led with Diggs giving him 24. Geno Smith and Wilson giving him 22 points. Next matchup, we had Purple Pride versus the Noob. And man, everybody is on the L Choo Choo train. Another L4. Chris. Carolyn gets the win 114 to 105. She was led with Josh Allen giving them 25. Singletary giving them 16. And NVS and Tyree Hill giving a 15. Next matchup we had I Pity the Fool versus the Fantasy Villain. And Ebony gets the win 146 to 141. Dang, Joe, I remember when your team, you, you was looking kind of good, man. You was looking good at first. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. I guess the good guys do finish last. Ebony was led with Hertz giving a 24, Paula giving a 21, and Aaron Jones giving a 23. Next, for the next matchup, we had... The Blood Bowl, a matchup of real life blood brothers. Mafia affiliated versus the Juice is loose. And Steven gets the win 110 to 107. Jay, you, you was on a hot streak. It looked like you, you have been slowed down. Steven was led with Devontae Adams giving him 27. Kelsey giving him 20. And Godwin giving them 19. And of course, we had the matchup of the week last week. And that was Gerard's team versus El Ganador. One and two going at each other. And Gerard became victorious. 124 to 102. Gerard was led with Prescott giving them 23. St. Brown giving them 22, and Jacobs also giving them 22. All right, let's take a quick look at the standings, and it haven't changed much. Still have Gerard at number one, eight, and two. Winner 
at number two, seven and three. Carolyn at number three, seven and three. Prentice at number four, six and four. Steven at number five, six and four. Your Commish at number six, six and four. Four with the record of five and five. And then we have Wayne at 11, four and six. Joe at 12, four and six. They're not officially eliminated yet, but they would need to win out. And of course, we have the two at the bottom who have been eliminated and shall remain nameless. <laughs> Ask who I am. Ask me, King. No. Ask me. Take him away. All right, let's look at next week's matchups. We have Dynamo FC versus Purple Pride. And Wayne is currently projected to win by 15. Good luck. You need to win out, baby. Next, we have Unfinished Business versus The Juice is Loose. And Jay to get back in track with a win over Craig. Next, we have Prentice versus Joe. And Prentice is projected to win by 10. And if he do win, he will officially eliminate Joe from the playoff. That seventh loss probably officially eliminates Joe from the playoff. We will see how it ends up, but that might be the headshot. Next, we have Gerard's team versus the Mad King, and the Mad King is trying to stay in it. He currently is projected to win by 13. Next, we have the new versus the walking bye week, and thank God for you, Chris. You finally got an easy matchup, and this should be an easy win for you to get you back on track. Next matchup, we have El Ganador versus Mafia Affiliated, and this is going to be a tough matchup. Both are projected to put up 122. We have the current second seed and the current fifth seed. Definitely some playoff implications. And next, we have the Matchup of the week. The fantasy football godfather versus I pity the fool. The sixth seed versus the seventh seed. And I am currently projected to win by five points. But if she beats me, she would hop into the sixth seed and be on pad for a playoff run. I can't let that happen. I can't let that happen. I gotta give my team a pep talk or something. There are a lot of people out here tonight who think you are the least likely candidate to be successful. David was chosen because he had an intangible. His intangible was his heart, all right? Now they're bigger, they got athletes. We can see that and so can everybody else. But nobody can see the intangible with us. All right, there's a reason why I opened up to that passage. We gotta make that happen tonight. Be the intangible tonight. I need this more than you need it, Ebony. So if you wanna set your players and allow me to get the easy win, I do accept forfeits. Because, because I pity the, the fool. I pity the fool. But anyway, as usual, I wish everyone good luck except for the person I'm playing. Ebony, you can kick rocks. Peace.